So what is up everybody? It is Rodak with Rodax Revival and we are back with some Supercross predictions. Tonight we have Glendale, the first of our Triple Crowns for this year. Now I went back and forth and I was like, should I predict each race or should I just predict the overall of who I think is going to win just the overall night? I went ahead and just decided to pick the overalls. Picking each race would be kind of difficult, but if that's something you guys want me to try to do in the future Triple Crown races, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these 250 predictions. So if you guys have seen my previous videos, you kind of know how these go. I give my top five rundown, starting from five to one. And tonight, coming in fifth place, I have Vince Freeze. Now, I don't know how many people out there are actually fans of Vince Freeze, but he did have a tough go at it last week. You know, he bit his tongue and had to have stitches, but he actually has been riding very well this year. So I have Vince Freeze coming in at fifth. Now I have Jalik Swall coming around in fourth place. He has been improving. I feel like he might step it up a little bit more this week. I don't really have any evidence evidence more to go on that it just he looked pretty good last week and I think he can come away with the fourth place tonight now for these top three guys it's simply because this seems to how they've been running all year I have Hunter Lawrence coming in third until he proves to me that he can get a start and actually run up there with those guys and not sit behind a lot of people and actually get a position better than third, I have to put Hunter in third place just simply for that reason. He really hasn't proven it to me. I think Moseman is riding better right now and I think Craig is riding better right now. His two second places, Moseman had a bad start in round one and then he got second to Moseman and but that took Craig going down in the first corner and coming from 22nd all the way up to third. So until he proves to me that he can beat those guys straight up and they can all get a start and he can beat them, then I have to go with Lawrence in third. And then I have Moseman coming in second until he proves that he can beat Craig straight up. He had a chance last week, but Craig was able to pull away from him. I don't know if it's because they had a longer whoop section last week and we know that's where Craig dominates, but until Moseman can beat Craig straight up and without Craig falling or going down in the first corner, I have to go with Moseman in second. And so that leaves a clear favorite for tonight's winner, and that is Christian Craig. I will continue to pick Christian Craig until he is beaten straight up. It's just as simple as that. It took one fall for him this year to not get a first place, and he has swept every other round. So until someone can beat him straight up, you got to go with Christian Craig. So just one more time before we jump into these 450s, the 250 rundown, I have Vince Fries in fifth, Jalik Swole in fourth, Hunter Lawrence in third, Michael Moseman in second, and Christian Craig coming through with your win tonight. Now let's hop over to these 450 guys for a second. So someone who seems to be running a little bit more consistent at least these last two races, and that is Dylan Ferrandez. I have him coming in at fifth tonight. He was third two rounds ago, fourth last week. I do think he'll crack that top five again. And so that's really my evidence for going with Ferrandez. He's looking comfortable on that Yamaha now. So I got Ferrandez coming in fifth. Now I know Kenny has had a rough go at it the past few weeks. He went down a couple of times in one round. He got taken out by Jason Anderson two rounds ago, and then he got completely cleaned out by Jason Anderson again. But he's still showing that he can run up there in front. I don't know if there's any residual damage done to him from last week, but it seems like maybe he might be okay. So this is my last time picking him in the top five. If he's outside of that top five tonight, I really got to go with someone else, but I'm going with Roxon because I do believe in him and I have Roxon coming in at fourth tonight overall. Now your top three have really kind of solidified themselves, just kind of like that 250 round class is, and I have Chase Sexton coming in third. He's been more consistent. He's got a race win. He was third last week. I do believe he can come away with this third tonight. And in second place, I have Jason Anderson. Jason has definitely been on fire this year. He is really grinding. He is super fast at times, and it's just... I do believe that Jason will come around in second overall tonight. Now, it could be a big flip-flop between Sexton and Anderson for me. They could go 2-3, two, 3-2. Three, three, two. It doesn't really matter. I think they're kind of interchangeable. But for right now, I have Anderson coming through in second. And I don't know about you guys, but last week it looked like the Eli Tomac of old. I do believe Eli is fully 100% comfortable on that bike. And if he wasn't last week, well, then that's just more devastating news to his competition. Because if he has improvements and room to get even better, then that's not going to look good for these guys. Historically, Eli's always been really good in Glendale. He's been good at these triple crowns. So I have Eli coming through with your overall win tonight. So guys, do you agree with these picks? Do you disagree with them? Leave it all down in the comments. I really appreciate any feedback that we can get on these videos. And, and I just can't wait for that triple crown format tonight in Glendale. I hope you guys are all excited too. And I will see you guys in the race recap video after the races tonight. Peace.